it's time to take a look at the paper solving strategy how will you attempt to solve this icc class 9 biology paper what would be your strategy for solving the different typology of questions we'll first begin with mcq it's a very crucial segment of your paper in this mcq type of question you are expected to write only answers you are not expected to write the complete statements which are given in the question paper while writing the answers to these mcqs explanation is not required you are not required to justify why a particular option is correct the strategy would be either to know the correct answer or to rule out the incorrect options we'll pick up an example to understand let's see this question who has its headquarters at moscow washington geneva or princeton and the correct answer over here is option 3 which is geneva one more question an animal of class mammalia is jellyfish starfish whale or cycad here either you know that whale is the correct answer which belongs to class mammalia or you should know that the remaining three organisms do not belong to class mammalia and this is how you arrive at answering a multiple choice questions for your exams let's move to the next typology of question which is name the following here again you are expected to write only the answers you do not need to copy the statements which are given in the question paper the answers have to be very specific they have to be more or less in one word only unless the correct term involves two components we'll see this with an example a condition in which carpels of a flower mature earlier than stamens the correct answer over here is protogyny protogyny is a condition in which the carpels that is a female reproductive part of the flower mature earlier than the stamens which is the male reproductive part proto andry is a condition in which the stamens of a flower mature earlier than the carpels one more example diseases present at birth the diseases which are present at birth are called congenital diseases so here you could see that there are two terms involved congenital and diseases so i am expected to write congenital diseases as the right answer let's move to another typology of question which is state the function here you are expected to write the main function of the structure or the organ or the term which is given be very specific and write as short as crisp as possible here is an example state the function of the skull now what does the skull do what is its main function it protects the optic orbits and the olfactory sac so this is a one liner which is expected of you to write it's a one marker question another example state the function of pectoral girdle the pectoral girdle provides support to the anterior portion of the body so you must have seen how specific i have written for this two organs for skull i have written its main function similarly for pectoral girdle let's move to another typology of question the objective type state odd one out or write true or false in both these typology of questions you are expected to write only the correct answer no explanation is required unless the question demands so for example here find the odd one out and mention the category for the rest here the question demands you to find the odd term and also explain why it is the odd one out so in this given example our odd term is centrosome and now why it is the odd term it's because it is an organelle which is present in only animal cell rest of the organelles that is cell wall plastids and ribosomes are present in plant cells whereas centrosome is absent in plant cell and that is why it is the odd term over here one more example with respect to now true or false here the question states that you have to write whether the statement is true or false and if it is a false statement you have to correct and rewrite it okay 
the question is ddt is a biodegradable waste here the correct answer is false it's because ddt is a non biodegradable waste so here in both these type of questions you were required you were asked to write the explanation for the respective questions and that is where you need to mention or need to write the explanation for your answer otherwise you are not expected to give any kind of explanation in your paper let's move to another typology of questions match the columns a very easy type of question provided you are through with the answers in these type of questions only answer is not expected a complete table is required with your answers in column b here's an example here column a gives the list of antibiotics in column b the source organisms are given you have to match the antibiotic with the correct source organism so this is how i write my answer in the answer paper i list down the antibiotics as in column a but in column b i write the answers of the source organisms so streptomycin the correct answer is option c streptomyces griseus chlorotetracycline streptomyces oreofaciens penicillin penicillium chrysogenum bacitracin bacillus subtilis and erythromycin streptomyces erythreus so this is how your answer should look in the answer paper yet another question types the explain or define or give reasons or answer briefly in all these four typology of questions you are expected to write your answer in a specific manner whatever definition you give or whatever answers or points you write down they have to be textbook oriented your textbook language should reflect in your answers you are expected to underline the keywords so that your answer highlights the key points in your paper let's solve one question how are villi adapted for absorption of food here's the answer the villi have large surface area which enables absorption of food they also have an epithelial lining with a network of capillaries and lacteals so here i have underlined two points large surface area and network of capillaries and lacteals which stands out and correctly answers my question how are villi adapted for absorption of food one more question give reason a bat can fly yet it is not a bird so you are expected to write the characteristics of a bird and a bat and you have to state why a bat is a mammal and not a bird so bat is a mammal it is viviparous because it has mammary glands also and it has external ears and a body covered with hair birds on the other hand are oviparous they lay eggs and their body is covered with feathers so you can see that bats although they can fly they have characteristics which are significant of mammals and not birds and that is why a bat is a mammal and not a bird so here i have underlined the key points which correctly bring out why a bat can fly it is a mammal and not a bird so this is how your final answers should look in your answer paper while answering the explain define give reasons and answer briefly type of questions let's move to yet another question type which is difference between a very crucial question in your question paper you are definitely going to be asked around 2 to 3 these type of questions so in difference between minimum 2 points per term are required and the points have to be relevant and to the point add more points basis the marks okay so here's a question state two differences between cartilaginous fishes and bony fishes my question itself states that i have to write two points of differences each for cartilaginous and bony fishes so this is how my answer looks in the answer paper with respect to cartilaginous fishes the skeleton is made up of cartilage in case of bony fishes it is made up of bones in cartilaginous fishes the operculum is absent whereas it is present in bony fishes so i have written two points 
two points of differences per term and this fetches me complete marks for this question. So this is how a difference between type of a question should look in your answer paper. Let's move to the diagram based questions. First, if you are asked to draw diagrams, your diagrams have to be neat, proportionate and well labeled. If the question states that you have to label certain items, you have to follow the question and label those items. And if nothing is mentioned, the key points or the key structures in the diagram should be labeled. With respect to diagram based question, you have to answer as per the question. Be specific. Write answers to what is being asked in the question. We'll take up an example. The given figure shows a type of plant tissue. Observe the figure carefully and then identify which is the type of plant tissue which is shown and then move on to these questions. So we'll first answer the A part of the question. Identify the tissue. The tissue which is shown in the given diagram is parenchyma tissue. Okay, you have identified certain characteristics in the given tissue and that is how we have arrived at the answer as parenchyma tissue. Question B, label parts 1 and 2. So part 1 is the cytoplasm and part 2 is the vacuole. So I have written 1 as cytoplasm and 2 as vacuole. Question C, list any two characteristics of this tissue. The characteristics of parenchyma tissue, we all know they are made up of thin walled living cells. Cell wall is made up of cellulose. The cells are oval or polygonal and there are intercellular spaces between the cells. So here you can see the intercellular spaces between the cells. I have written four points over here but the question states any two. So you are expected to write any two of these four points in your exams. So answer the questions very specifically. Do not spend time in writing what is not asked. You will lose time on that. So be very specific and answer as per the question. All right. So this is all about the different typology of questions, how you are supposed to tackle each of these type of questions. Every question type is different and the strategy of solving each of these question types is also different. So if you want to save on time, you want to have a lot of practice of solving these type of questions. 